peeling back the wrapper on last year's beautiful coupe. Mercedes wasn't kidding around when it promised a big surprise at this year's Monterey Car Week. An open top, all electric stunner, the Vision Mercedes Maybach 6 Cabriolet is a convertible in the vein of the hardtop by the same name that was shown at last year's Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance. The Vision 6 Cabriolet is, like its predecessor, an Art Deco inspired, next nappingly attractive car. 19 feet long and riding on 24 inch wheels, its hood appears to go on forever and its tail tapers dramatically to a point. An enormous chrome grille defines the car's face, with tiny slits for headlights. The car's rear is described as a boat tail, going hand in hand with the nautical blue metallic name for this paint color. Move inside and things are equally fabulous. The Vision Cabriolet 6 has two seats, and the interior is designed on a flowing design mantra. That means a wing like center console, wrap around ambient lighting elements, and door panels that appear to blend into the seats themselves. Each of those blue lights you see in the cabin? It's a small backlit Mercedes pointed star logo. Instead of the digital displays in most modern Mercedes cars, there are retro, analog touches, like the twin round instrument binnacles perched atop the steering column. After all, the company says, the designers are responding to the need of people to experience analog luxury in what is an increasingly digital world. For those drivers and passengers who still need more information, main driving functions and navigation information are projected via two head-up displays onto the windshield. There are four synchronous electric motors, one at each wheel, to provide 750 horsepower, 550 kilowatts, of locomotion. Beneath the car's floor is a massive battery pack that, when connected to a 350 kW CCS fast charger, can add 60 miles, 100 kilometers, of driving range in just 5 minutes. Thanks to that battery pack, total driving range is over 200 miles, 322 kilometers, or as much as 500 kilometers, 311 miles, under the slightly more optimistic new European driving cycle test. Either way, it's no slouch, the company says that the sprint to 60 miles per hour happens in under 4 seconds, while the top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour. Those figures match what Mercedes claimed of last year's Vision 6 Coupe. Like last year's Coupe, this Vision 6 Cabriolet is merely a concept but offers a thought-provoking take on how the Maybach model range could expand in the coming years. Take a closer look at the car in our full photo gallery below.
Internet, meet your new, 600 BHP electric shooting brake. It's the Alcraft GT, and you might need to leave your supercar startup cynicism by the door. It's British made, though you'll spot these pictures are electronic renders. That's because it's currently a 33 percenter scale model. Made of foam. But if a production car lived up to the promised specs, it'd be mighty. So it's a small estate like GT car that can accommodate two people plus either lots of luggage, or two more tiny people. It can be fully electric or operate with a, presumably petrol, range extender on board. Like most quick electric stuff, it's four-wheel drive and employs clever torque vectoring to shuffle its power about. Alcraft says the emphasis has been on developing outstanding handling and dynamics, and that the numbers are secondary but they're still decent. Virtually, it's produced 600 bhp and 840 pounds foot, enough for a 3.5 SEC 0 to 62 miles per hour time. A 300 mile range is also touted. If you've gone back to the door to pick up your cynicism, easily done, when we're talking about a tiny foam car whose performance lives only on a laptop, then rest assured some strong names are behind this one. Highlights include Charles Morgan from, um, Morgan, and Matt Humphreys, who designed the Morgan Aero Max. Michelin and Continental are among the suppliers. Like the look of it? The next step is a fully operational prototype, and being a car with a modern mindset, the financial process is modern, too. They're crowdfunding, and you can input anything between £10 and £25,000 to get the Alcraft GT into production, with all sorts of watches, bikes and days out at Silverstone as rewards. Tempted. The Italian supercar maker is on the fast track for profit. Italian supercar maker Ferrari today announced a record second quarter for 2017. The mark saw profits jump 24%, with a shipment increase of 5.3%, and a net revenue of 920 million euros, $1 billion, up 13.5% over the previous year. Special editions like the LaFerrari Aperta and more mainstream models like the GTC4 LUSSO are in part to thank. Shipments totaled 2,332 units in quarter 2, up 118 units over the prior year. That success was driven by Ferrari's V12 models, which saw a 36% increase in sales. Numbers were led by the aforementioned GTC4 LUSSO and LaFerrari Aperta, offset by both the F12 Berlinetta and F12 TDF, which have already been phased out in place of the new 812 Superfest. Cars like the California T, in its fourth year of production, the 488 family, and the GTC4 Lusso T stayed steady from 2016. Ferrari says that its 2017 profit will exceed 950 million euros, 1.13 billion dollars, with CEO Sergio Martian suggesting back in March that it could be as much as 1 billion euros, 1.18 billion dollars. A new dealership in Hong Kong by quarter three of this year and continued success in regions like the US and Australia will hopefully push Ferrari over that figure. Already, 
the two regions saw increases of 3.0% and 20.5% respectively. Part of the continued growth will include a new five year plan implemented by CEO Sergio Martian. The plan will be introduced in 2018, and will include a utility vehicle, and hybridized versions of all Ferrari vehicles sold after 2019. The former will ride on the platform of the upcoming GTC4 LUSSO successor, and will come with all-wheel drive and hybrid powertrain. The new utility vehicle, Ferrari hopes, will more than double profits for the company by 2022. Ferrari projects pricing to be north of $353,920 when it debuts, and hopes to sell as many as 2,000 units in China alone, with a healthy majority also making their way to the US. The Ferrari utility vehicle is expected to make its debut in 2021. Critical new concept from Mercedes-Benz previews the future of Mercedes design. The concept sedan features new active body components that transform the car between two different modes that change the aerodynamic profile of the car. Slicing through the air with a fish-like 0.19 coefficient of drag, the new Mercedes-Benz concept intelligent aerodynamic automobile IAA, has the ability to transform from its design mode into the more lithe aerodynamic mode. In aerodynamic mode, which is triggered by either the driver with the push of a button or automatically at 50 miles per hour, eight rear segments of the car transform into a calm tail, extending the length of the car by up to 15.4 inches. Flaps in the front bumper extend by 1 inch to divert more air to the rear, the wheels reduce their profile by around 2.2 inches, and the front louvers recess by February 4 inches. This aerodynamic transformation results in an extremely efficient body that provides the least amount of drag as possible. On the inside, Mercedes says the design previews future sedan interiors to come, building on the current Mercedes Benz S Class flagship. The design includes flowing lines of cut glass, aluminum, and white leather, contrasted by bluish purple ambient lighting. Underneath the sumptuously designed skin, the concept IAA is motivated by a gas-slash-electric hybrid drive, with a combined output of 279 HP, pushing the sedan to an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. The concept IAA has an all-electric range of 39 miles in design mode, with a bump up to 41 miles in aerodynamic mode. The concept IAA made its official debut at the 2015 Frankfurt Auto Show. Take a look at Mercedes' vision of the future in the photo gallery below.
electric minis are nothing new. Almost 10 years ago BMW conducted a massive field study with 600 mini ES, which at least to committed eco enthusiasts in the US, UK, Germany and others. While there have been all electric BMWs since, there's not been a properly production ready all electric mini. That's set to change in 2019, when the car previewed by the mini electric concept will be unveiled. The basic silhouette is broadly that of a regular mini, but the body has been subtly reformed for better aero and, we'd guess, to hint at what minis of the near future might look like. All the front air intakes have been shuttered and smoothed, the door handles are flush with the reflection silver body and fiberglass add-ons along the car's lower half intensify the stylish mini proportions. We quite like it. Related content as this is a concept technical details are scant. It would certainly make sense for many to purloin the latest version of the BMW i3s powertrain, but all it's saying for now is that the electric concept has a powerful electric motor. And while it looks pretty good to us, when it makes production expect all the clever little add-ons to have been toned down or left off altogether. We know two things for sure. One, that it'll be built at Mini's Oxford plant and two, that it'll be at next month's Frankfurt Motor Show. More as we have it.